Let's take a closer look at what produces the true-false answers. What produces the true-false answers is something we call relational operators. Now, some of these operators you probably learned in the third grade. Things like the less than operator and the less than or equal to than operator, the greater than or equal to operator, and the greater than operator. Some of these might be new. The equal equal operator says if both sides are the same, return true. The not equal operator, if the two operands are different, return true. We'll see how they work by tracing the code. But one thing I can tell you about all relational operators is they all return true or false. When they return true or false, they are excellent for use in an if-else statement. I'm also going to show something new here. When there is one and only one executable statement in an if-else statement, the curly braces aren't required. Now, I myself prefer to always put in the curly braces, but if there is one and only one executable statement in the if-else, I am not required to use curly braces. Also, if there's one and only one statement in the else portion, I'm not required to use curly braces. So just to show you an example where you don't have to put in the curly braces, we'll run this without the curly braces. So let's go through this first. We'll set up 19 in the age variable and we'll look first at the less than operator. So with 19 in the age variable, 19 less than 18 is a false statement. Always has been, always will be. 19 is not less than 18. Because that condition is false, what is the code going to do? Why, it's going to go straight to the else. It's going to go straight to the else to execute the else portion. And you can see it prints the word false onto the output. And a false showed up on our output. Pretty simple. Now let's illustrate the less than or equal operator. Once again, let's put an 18 in the age variable and we'll look at 18 less than or equal to 18. 18 less than or equal to 18 is very much a true statement. Since they are equivalent, the equal portion will make that relational operator true. All relational operators return true or false and in this situation, this operator is going to return true. As a true statement, you know what it's going to do. It's going to execute the if portion of the if else statement. It's going to print line the word true and true shows up here on our output. All of these are fairly simple. I'm just running through the examples to show you how all of them work. Let's do the greater than operator now. Let's replace the value age. Now, one of the reasons I'm showing you different values in the variables is I want you to understand that every time this code executes, it could take a different path. It all depends on what the value in age is and what the relational operator is. I need you to understand that this is what makes a computer programmable. It makes it programmable because Every time this software runs, it could select or choose a different piece of code to execute. With 16 in the age variable and looking at the greater than operator, 16 greater than 18 is a false. So during this particular execution of the code, since the condition is false, it will choose to execute the else portion of the code and will output the word false and you'll see false show up here. Let's look at the greater than or equal to operator. We'll put 20 in the age variable. So at the time this code executes, we're looking at 20 greater than or equal to 18. 20 greater than or equal to 18 is very much a true statement. As a true statement, we'll select the true path. We'll output the word true as you see it show up on the output down here. And of course, when it's done executing the if portion of the code, it will skip past the else. Look at that line right here. It never, I repeat, never executes both. It will select the if and skip the else, or it will select the else and skip the if. Let's look at the equal to operator. That's two equal signs right next to each other and see how the code behaves with that relational operator. 
Here we set 17 in the variable age. And again, I'm changing these variable values to show you the dynamic nature of this code. Every time it executes, it can choose a different path based on the value of the age variable. So 17 equal to 18 is clearly false. As a false value in the true false Boolean operator, equal equal, as a false value, it's going to select the else path. The else path says execute the print line of false, and a false shows up on the output. Let's look at the not equal operator now. This is the last relational operator we'll be looking at. I hope you like this slide. Now, the code doesn't dynamically change its relational operator. I'm going through all the different six relational operators to show you how they behave and how they affect the if else statement. Age now has the value 21 in it. So at the point this code executes, 21 not equal to 18 is very much a true statement. Left operand is not equal to the right operand, so it returns a true. As a true statement, as you would expect, it comes in and executes the if portion of the code, and a true shows up on the output. And of course, when it's done with the if portion of the code, it exits the if else. Remember, it will only select one piece of code to execute. If it does the if portion, it will skip the else. That's my slide. That's all six relational operators. Keep in mind, relational operators return true-false values, and those true-false values can be used in if and if-else statements to determine which code executes. That's the whole point of it, deciding which code executes. That's what makes a computer a programmable machine. Every time the software runs, it can decide to execute a different section of code.